authority. That is giving you authority to bind things on earth. When we pray the Lord's Prayer, our Father, our Daddy, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. His name is holy above all men. He is holy and righteous. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. God will be done on earth first before it's going back. Thank you. God needs you to loosen some stuff. Amen. Amen. Brother! Yes, thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Lord. Right. Amen. So God is using the darkness, and He wants to separate you from the darkness. He created the heaven and He spoke the light. And He said, and He called the light evening and then the, the night um, morning. So He he, he, he planned everything. Evening and morning. Plan and purpose. Vision is the inside of what God is saying to us this morning. But without vision, my people perish. 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 We need vision and plan and purpose what God is in our life. How He created everything. How He created you. In the Bible it said that when He created the heavens and the earth, He said there was a void. There was something missing. There's plenty of stuff missing in my life. There's a big hole in my life. Big hole. But when I found Jesus, He filled the void in our lives. Come on, somebody. We were lost, but now we are found. Amen? We were in darkness, now we become the light. God has filled the void. When He created the heavens and the earth, He said, He, he, he met the, the Holy Spirit that was hovering over the earth. The Holy Spirit that was hovering over your life. He said, There's a void in your life. There's a darkness in your life. And then God said, Phew, light. Thank you, Jesus. You're saved. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Lord. That's hope, light. And here we are today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got a few that go. God's Word is the one that created us from the darkness and His mother's life. It's the beginning of his creation. He created heaven and earth. He created man. We have a plan. We need an insight by the soul. We were blind to all the things that is affecting our walk in Jesus Christ. So he's using the word of the speaking light to uh, help us to come into the fullness of the likeness of his image, his son. Come on, sir. Yes, We're going to be in the, call, the son that God has called us, the powerful son that God has brought from us back home. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Darkness is not a thing. It is the absence of a thing. Darkness is the absence of my wishes. Why? Like I said, if you feel the heat come on, you stop there, you know. When I saw them, I was talking about my fans. This is not, it's a thing. You can feel the light. You can feel the heat. You can feel the love of God through His Word. That we can run that we have a relationship with His Son Jesus Christ, and not a religion. to serve us. It has a plan and a purpose to serve us. That to serve us means that we uh, become a light now instead of from the darkness we become a servant of God. So the light is there to, to show us secret things that we have never seen before. This is why Saul on the road to Damascus, he couldn't see that what he was doing he was killing people was the right thing to do because he was going to religion. He had documents. He had, he had permit to kill people, Christians. He was going to Damascus and bring them back to Jerusalem to slaughter the Christians. But on his way to Damascus, God had to stop him. So when you look at the word of God, that there were secret things that you didn't know that God had in you that he wants to pull out. Come on. There was darkness in you that today God wants to pull that darkness out. On the road to Damascus, we thank God that I had to stop 
where I was going because God had a different plan. He has to pull the darkness out of Saul. And then when after he was obedient to the word of God, he said, go and go down to Damascus and it will be that you will find instructions. So God is telling us into his word that he's given us instructions this morning. Follow my instructions so I can use you, but I'm going to blind you until you understand you need to follow the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You need to follow his voice. And God has called us from Damascus to hear what God's plan was for Saul's life and for your life. He went and he found the instructions from Ananias. Yeah. You know, before I came to, came to uh, change the conversion that happened to, to Saul, that the conversion, when I came to church, they were like, oh, I'm not here. Saul was the same way. All of the disciples said, yeah, that's like that king everybody. Yeah. So, so Jesus told him, that, uh, this guy will come. His name is um, Saul. Go, go pray for him because God will use him. He said, don't worry. They're not killing everybody. You see, people see your old man. They didn't see the new man. Right. But first, he's about to come. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Come on, somebody. There's a breakthrough you about to come in your life. It's a conversion on the road to Damascus. Yes, God had to stop you. And boom, there was a conversion yes. on your way you, to the church this morning. Thank you, Lord. It has to be a conversion. Because of all the stuff that is happening in Pastor Lucian and I, and you see the darkness trying to overcome the light. So I mean, we've got church, let me tell you, we've got power. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. We've got to be, we're not going to let Prince of Dallas, the economic spirit in the air, to affect us. You see, I'm not fighting against We're not fighting for the same Amen? Yeah, this is yeah, why we need to kill us. Because we need to try to use people to kill you. But you, you, you gotta understand, you gotta pray for them. God said, pray for your enemies. Love them that persecute you. Come on! Yes. Yes. Help me! Help me! Pray for them that persecute you and talk all kinds about you. <laughs> because God will use that person while you to bless you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. God, convert them. God has to convert you first. Thank you, Jesus. And you can be a light to people's life. Thank you. So always remember, if you condemn any people, if you give any reason, don't do that. Give me correction, but don't condemn you. We can learn from people's mistakes. We can learn from people's mistakes. And we can learn from their strengths. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. We can learn. We're all learning. But it is the Word of God that we need to build our foundation. The keys that we heard this morning that we need to bind some stuff that is in darkness. If there's any darkness in your life, we need to bind that spirit in the name of Jesus so you can be separated from the things that are affecting your relationship with your wife and your husband and your children. We need to separate those things that are stopping you from your blessing and your anointing. They're stopping those things that are trying to stop your blessing to God release a financial blessings upon your life. That's it. Yeah. Put me first and pray for those. You're in the right place. Come on. You need to be yes. in the right position in order to get your blessings. Come on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 How come he's not getting blessed? Because he's in the wrong position. He needs to be up there preaching. You gotta be a worker and a doer of the word. Yes. That's it. You need to act and think my word. You need to yes, do my amen. word. Not just hear yeah. my word. Yeah. And think come with action. Come on, work yes, with action. Yes, amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 When I was researching the word. I was amazed because this is the word they call Pastor Bird, they call this church. This church is under the umbrella of God's word. They call Joseph Castle back in the days when I was in prison. It is the same word that was under our umbrella of our president of the United States, Donald Trump. Turn with me to Isaiah 45, verse 3. Right? 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 
to help us out. Amen? Amen. Amen. Read the truth. Amen. You say, you tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I tell the truth. If we lie, then we deny it. Then we know I hear the truth. That's because we're not on the heart. I want you. Amen. We need the truth, but the truth will help you need. Yes. When you go to court, you tell me the truth. So many swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I God. Yes, I need help. I did wrong. I did this. I did the crime. I did what I did. I went to prison. I never, I never hold back nothing because I need the truth. How many of us agree that we have the truth? Amen. We cannot deny the truth because the truth will set you free. free. Hallelujah. God is speaking to darkness, but if we're not telling the truth, and we're still hanging out in darkness, we need to release that thing. Come on, somebody. Yes. We need to forgive. If God said, you got to forgive, so I won't forgive you. That's me. God saying, you got to forgive them, so I can release you. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. You cannot control nobody else but you. If you control anybody else, you call that witchcraft. Right. Amen. You know, the spirits. Control the spirits. Why God said pray for your enemies. Come on, somebody. Love them that persecute you. Oh, go on. That's some hard one. You gotta love them that persecute you. Come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You gotta release so I can be released, so I can be happy and enjoy my life. God is stopping the blessing because I'm not doing what God told me to do. I'm still living in darkness, I'm still harboring in my feelings. I'm still hurt. God don't want you to be hurt. God wants you to be free. God wants you to be free, my Lord. God will be in your heart, and God will be in your heart. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. I hear I'm going to God here. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name and the Lord of Israel. I never know there was treasures in darkness. Darkness was darkness. Come on, somebody. Right. But in our darkness, in Saul's darkness, there was treasures that he didn't know was in him. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. He didn't know, he didn't see that the treasures that was in him that was being ready to be pulled out of him so he can be the light. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is ready to pull something out of you so he can release you, anointing. Thank but you, he needs to remove those darkness like Saul so you can be used by his kingdom Thank to be you, converted Lord. totally, 100%. Amen. Come on, so that help me. Amen. He said there is secret things, treasures, and he's to pull them out that I never knew was there. His word. His spirit. So on the road to Damascus, there was something God pulled out of him that he was in the heart. He said, some of us, you can be in the light right now, that's who he part us. So there's some stuff that God's trying to pull out of him. That are lying through it by surrendering yeah. whatever he's having you in your heart to pull them all like pull them off. You don't need it, church. Right. Pull it out. You don't need those things that's holding you back. God is ready to release a blessing out. upon your life. He's ready to release his anointing in your life. He's ready to release some money into your life. He's ready to release a, a position in your company. Too. But you need to release the stuff that is holding you back from your anointing and your faith. Release it. God wants to pull something out of you. But you never knew you had. In Genesis, chapter 2, God said that he had to put Adam to sleep. Right? He said there was something that wasn't good for man. So there's something God created that wasn't good. What was that? Man shouldn't be alone. Hallelujah. <laughs> God said when he created the heaven and earth, but there was something that wasn't good that he created. And he had the uh, uh, woman. Hallelujah. So God said he put Adam to sleep. And out of his ribs, he pulled out a woman. Hallelujah. Wow, man. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Yes. God yes. wants to pull something in you that you never knew you had in you. Lord, pull it out. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yes. Pull it out. God wants to pull something out of you. Yes, Lord. 
that you never knew you had. Pull it out. Pull it out. No one's so blessed you. But it is all of you. Pull all of it out. That you never knew you had. This is why he said, and he's very nice though, that treasures are darkness and hidden riches you have never seen. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God created woman and man was up, he would see, oh, that's not a man for woman. You know what men would do? If the wife would be sleeping in your room, he'd be in our room, make you not a wife. Come on, somebody. Right. right. I like my black wife. I like my blue wife. Come on. <laughs> God put men to sleep so he know how to make a woman. Right. Amen. So he knock him out so you don't see how. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God pulled something out of God. God pulled something out of Saul. When I read that word, this is what this is what God was speaking to me this morning. God worked at his best in darkness. Out of darkness, he said, let there be light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God saw in Saul's life that on the road to Damascus, he had to divide the light away from the darkness. In Isaiah 45, it says that I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you know it was never there before. Secret places you never knew that was in you that God wants to use you and put out some stuff. Amen. Amen. God worked as his best. In darkness. He said the Holy Spirit hovered over the world of your life. That's what I spoke like to your brothers. He divided us so you didn't use the his kingdom. I guess we're not searching for a warm, fuzzy kingdom. God wants to use you. He said this is how God is at his best. In the old days, we used to have a camera. Um, we used to have a camera. You know what that camera is? That you stretch out and you take a picture. You take a picture of the light, right? And get one, get one, one board. Get one board. Get one board that takes the, the light. And you say one dark box. And then a dark box, the, the, the guy that developed the film, he's going to do a dark room with a black light. And then he put the, the negative Amen. Yes, amen. 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 That is the negative from the picture of what was in the light. Like Paul, you're in the light, you're blinding, so you take the negative and you're putting it to this water solution. Yeah, amen. And you're shaking it around. And in the darkness, in the dark room, God was developing the negative into the positive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hope you can get a picture. <laughs> Amen. Write <laughs> that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That he would be the light of the world. Thank God that the Lord has given us the opportunity to be the light of the world. Thank God that the message today was not only for you, but for you as well. Oh, Jesus. Because we walk with the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Well, we need to stay in the light. In the light? Sometimes we fall off the lives of the devil and pulls us back in darkness. But I always come back and try to separate you. Maybe this message is for you this morning. Yes, amen. And God wants to use you and separate you from the old man to be confirmed to be the new creature, Jesus Christ. Come on. Amen. Amen. 
running out of time. Yes, we are. God wants to develop our neighbor and do something very yes. positive yes. for his kingdom. Hallelujah. 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 God can use anybody. Please don't give it because it will be just the church. Come on, somebody. Amen. And a third grade education, draw the name of all the youth. Shoot. God turned it I went into prison and in that place. God said, I see you're 45. I'm going to show you. Shoot the thing. God has to pull out. Hallelujah. And I struggled with that. Not me. I cannot read. Why you not use me for? I had suspicion. Why can't you use somebody that turned to education? And I read all about Abraham. Or about Moses. They all had character defects. Every one of us had problems. They had character defects. Because I tried to pull out something. The past this morning. Every head bowed in the eyes of God. Father God, we thank you for your word. Whatever you speak in through, Lord, whoever you speak in through, Lord, let your kingdom come, Lord. Lord, we bind any spirit, demonic strongholds, the separating us from the light. You have given us jurisdictional authority all the spirits, strongholds, addictions, in the name of Jesus. Don't shake off any spirit that is in trying to make its place in our lives. Shake it off, Lord. It should not be operating and functioning in our lives. Thank you for your words. We thank you for your love, because that's your love that you found us at the cross. We surrender to you this morning, Lord. Our life, our families, our relationships, our finances, Father. We surrender to you so we don't need We don't need make those things that is worrying us, number one. Right. That we will hear your voice. In Jesus' name I pray, and we all say, Amen. Amen.